I'm seeing so many buyers attracted to these entry level builders or these low cost, very, very, very affordable neighborhoods and builders and immediately within a couple of years have buyer's remorse because the builder and the neighborhood are not what they expected. And what's worse about this regret is now that the market is shifting, they are trapped with this home and they're not going to be able to sell it for the amount that they purchased it for. They're trapped because number one, the neighborhood does not end up being developed as nice as they thought it would when they initially bought into the new construction neighborhood. Number two is that when you put your kind of new construction existing home on the market, the market is oversaturated with new construction entry level homes that were built just a few years ago. And the buyer has way too many choices when it comes to that type of home. And so even on the same street in these types of neighborhoods, there could be three of the same exact houses for sale. So when you go to sell it, there's a lot of competition and you have to lower the price in order to stand out. And third, just like you did, the buyer can go out up just a few more miles to a new community with entry level builders and buy a brand new home that's very similar to yours for probably just about the same amount of money or even a little bit less in this market. New construction, especially in the last three to four years, have seen a massive opportunity here in Houston because we have a lot of undeveloped land and we can still keep expanding. There's little regulations or permits when it comes to building new construction homes or developments here in the Houston area. And these mega home builders have the ability to build massive cookie cutter suburbs at a very, very little cost. So a lot of these builders are marketing these entry level, very, very affordable homes and offering you very, very aggressive financing incentives that are already folded into the high price of the home that you're paying. Problem is though, is that these homes and neighborhoods are just that. They're very, very entry level and they're very, very affordable. And if I'm being honest, they do not age well after five or so years. Concern, like I said earlier, is that they are turning these homes so fast and they are building and building and building and they are selling these homes unlimited to investors. So there's a lot of investors buying up these properties as well. And my thought is, is what is going to happen in three to five years when the interest rates stabilize, when the market shifts, which it always does, and we have this massive amount of entry level, very basic homes, an oversaturation of them. But even right now, the people who have bought in the last five years that want to get rid of these homes are having a really hard time because there's nothing special to them once it's built and once the neighborhood is built. And they're a dime a dozen. You can get anywhere in there. There's no selling point. There's no appreciation. There's no value to be held other than that the market is still slightly appreciating over time. My concern also is that yes, it's brand new and it's a good home, but again, it does not age well after five years. If I'm showing buyers a bunch of neighborhoods and houses, maybe six in one day, they can definitely sense and feel the difference of a resale home that is an entry level, very basic builder compared to a builder um, that was more mid-tier. After some time, you can immediately tell that the neighborhood and the builders were not developed the same. And by the way, I'm not saying that this is a bad investment. Owning real estate over renting is always going to be a better investment, but these videos are meant to educate, inform you, and to manage your expectations for any type of builder that you are considering. If you are considering an entry-level builder or developer, just some things you need to consider and plan for in the future so that you are not stuck in a home that cannot resell. Overall, buying real estate and even entry level new construction can be a good investment if you know the warnings and what to look for. So right now, if you are considering one of these entry level builders or neighborhoods, these are a few things that you need to keep in mind before you sign the contract. Number one is that appreciation is generally at a slower rate compared to mid tier or bigger developments than the single builder entry level developments. I'm not saying that it won't appreciate, but I'm saying that you're probably going to have to wait a minimum of five years to see some sort of a return on investment. Probably Probably closer to seven to ten years. Number two is that you have to maintain these homes really, really well, especially to stick out in the existing market afterwards. These homes are built with affordability in mind, so they do not come with a ton of bells and whistles, and the material used to build the home is probably not the highest quality. So when you do move into the home, you have to maintain everything. You have to 
upkeep it um, to preserve it so that when you do go to resell it, you can stick out a little bit. I would also suggest making minor small cosmetic updates to the home just to elevate it a little bit. Not very expensive ones, but the thing is, is when you build in these types of developments and builders, almost everything on your street is the exact same floor plan with the exact same interior finishes. So if you have two or three or four of the same exact house for sale on the same street, if you add some different light fixtures or just something to elevate it a little bit, that's going to help you stick out when it goes to appreciate and the resale market. I want to add to that that this is more than likely your starter home meaning that the neighborhood is also probably a starter neighborhood so you don't want to make extreme updates to the home or you're not going to see returns so don't put solar panels on it or a extravagant outdoor pool and backyard because in those types of neighborhoods the appreciation and the return is not going to be as strong. Again like I said my concern is that these builders keep building they keep building and there's also selling an enormous amount to investors. So when the market does stabilize and when we do have an oversaturation of inventory again, which eventually it will happen, these entry level homes that are a dime a dozen are going to be really, really hard for people, for them to not only appreciate and hold their value, but for people to be able to sell them in the future. And it's true to a certain extent, suburban neighborhoods all start to look and feel the same, even in the Houston area. And if you're unfamiliar with the area and you go to one of these entry level developers and builders compared to a mega master plan community, on first sight, it really could be hard to tell the differences between the two, especially when everything is being built and it's not fully developed. But it really truly does matter. And what you pay for generally is what you get, especially when it comes to the community, the builder, and the location itself. So when you are considering these entry level builders, I highly recommend that you also consider are the schools okay in the area? Is the neighborhood okay? Is the area around the neighborhood okay? Is this home going to appreciate long term? How long do I have to hold on to this house? And what am I gonna have to do to this builder grade home in order to be able to see an appreciation and be able to sell it in the future. This video is not intended to discourage you from building a new construction home, but it is simply to educate you and help you, guide you in the right way to pick a good builder and a good development that's going to help you long term with a good investment. The bottom line of this video is getting a good deal on a new construction home doesn't always equate to the best quality and the best long term investment. You really have a lot of things to consider when you're looking for a new construction home, especially in a market that you are not familiar with. So if you are looking to build a new construction home this year, I highly, highly recommend that you consult with an agent that specializes in new construction homes as well as master plan communities and developments so that they can guide you, educate you and kind of help help you make the decisions and go through that new build process so that you are confident and happy with your decision now and three to five years from now. If you found this video helpful, I have an entire playlist about building a new construction home here in the Houston area. So make sure you check that out. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.